Welcome to a new comparison video between the Oppo Find X3 Pro and Samsung's Galaxy S21 Ultra. My name is Sam from Verse.com and we are comparing both phones in terms of display, performance, camera, design and battery life. Stay tuned and find out which phone is in our opinion the better phone. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start straight away with our review. Let the facts speak. Display. The Oppo Find X3 Pro has a 6.7 inch display, which measures 17.02 cm diagonally and has a resolution of 1440p. Its AMOLED screen creates very natural colors and has a pixel density of 525 ppi. It features a refresh rate of 120Hz and a peak brightness of 1300 nits. Very good specs and it looks great. Next up, the Galaxy. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 6.8 inch display with a 1440p resolution. It is fitted with an OLED screen which does a fantastic job. The S21 Ultra measures 17.3 cm diagonally with a pixel density of 515 ppi. The display has an impressive 120Hz refresh rate with a Quad HD resolution and it is also downgrading the rate when it's not in use to reduce power consumption. What speaks for the Galaxy is obviously its size. The Find X3 Pro on the other hand has a higher pixel density. Besides that, bows don't differ that much. Which is why it is pretty easy to count this one as a draw. Camera. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has four main cameras. An ultra wide with 12 megapixel, a wide angle with 108 megapixel, and two telephoto cameras with 10 megapixel. The front camera's resolution is 40 megapixel. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra records 8K videos at a maximum of 24 frames per second. And of course it has image stabilization for video too. A quad real camera system and 8K videos are pretty high standard. Let's see if Oppo setup can compete. The Oppo Find X3 Pro has a quad rear camera system. It features a 50 megapixel wide angle, a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle, a 13 megapixel telephoto, and a 3 megapixel micro lens camera. Its front camera has a resolution of 32 megapixel. The X3 Pro records 4K videos at a maximum of 60 frames per second. And of course, it has optical image stabilization. Both phones have good camera systems, but which one is actually the better system? Let's take it to our camera test and let's find out which one does a better job. Let's start by comparing the performance and daylight conditions. Here, both do an equally good job, taking sharp pictures with lots of details and contrast. The Oppo just seems a bit brighter. When copying in, they still don't differ much showing the same amount of details. The only notable difference being that the Oppo has more grain. Of course, in the last picture, the Find X3 Pro is a lot sharper, but that is mostly due to a wrongly set focus on the Galaxy. Switching to the nighttime's conditions, at first, we again didn't notice any difference besides the Galaxy seeming a bit brighter. But after a closer look, we noticed that the Samsung outperformed the Oppo here by a lot. It is so much sharper, leading to very good details for a nighttime picture. The Oppo on the other hand produced pure mishmash, also due to a ton of grain. Only thing speaking for it is the higher saturation, which can be noticed by looking at the color palette. Cropping on the plant, you can see the same results, although both are not doing very good. Both phones have really good front cameras, performing equally good again. The Oppo may be a bit softer, but that's not a bad thing in this case. The Galaxy S21 Ultra has a 3 and 10 fold optical and a 100 fold digital zoom feature. The Find X3 Pro on the other end only has a 5 fold hybrid optical and a 20 fold digital zoom. Okay, so far so good. Now let's switch from photo feature to the video feature to find out which of these two phones takes better videos. What you see in here is the quality of Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra's video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. What you can see and hear is the quality of Apple Find X3 Pro's video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. The Galaxy is capable of recording an 8K, but that would have been way too cropped in. So that we decided to do the video comparison on the S21 Ultra in 4K. The sound quality of the Oppo is certainly better compared to the Galaxy, which sound a bit muffled. Let's crop in a bit in post to see what that looks like. As you can see, the Oppo again does a better job than the Galaxy, which is very blurry. In 10 times zoom, the differences are even more obvious. Although you have to say that the Find X3 Pro has more grain and seems a bit too bright. When it comes to slow motion videos, both are capable of 240 frames in Full HD, but the Galaxy is able to produce 960 frames per second in 720p. Where the Oppo is only capable of 480 frames per second. 
So, both take really great pictures, but the Galaxy clearly outperformed the Oppo in nighttime conditions. And while the 100x digital zoom feature on the Galaxy is more of a gimmick, the 10x optical zoom has a lot more potential than Oppo system. In terms of the video feature, the results were the other way around. Here, the Oppo clearly outperformed the Galaxy in both video and sound quality. In the end, you have to decide on your own where your preferences are. But for us, this is a draw. Both get a point here. Performance since we are in Europe, this Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra model uses the Samsung Exynos 2100 chip with a new 5 nanometer process technology. There are different versions with different storage capacities available. A 128GB and a 256GB with 12GB RAM and a version with 512GB with 16GB of RAM, which is in use in this comparison. The storage capacity can unfortunately not be expanded anymore. 16 gigabyte ram is a big number let's see what the oppo has got to offer the x3 pro is equipped with qualcomm's latest chip the snapdragon 888 the phone has 12 gigabyte ram and a storage capacity of 256 gigabyte the storage capacity unfortunately cannot be expanded so the new snapdragon versus samsung's exynos chipset who's going to come out on top let's take them into the antidu benchmark and geekwatch 5 test and find out the tests are divided into three phases. A performance test of the RAM, a test of how the device is handling two-dimensional graphics, and an endurance test of how the device is handling 3D graphics. The second test is from Geekbench. This app will measure the performance of our smartphones in terms of CPU and GPU. All right, so the Galaxy was actually able to score better results in the Geekbench single-core category. But the Oppo performed better in the multi-core scenario. The n benchmark test is where the new Snapdragon 888 shows its full potential, as the gap is pretty massive in favor of the Oppo. So, as expected, this point goes to the Find X3 Pro. Design the Oppo Find X3 Pro has an aluminium frame and a glass finish on the back. This version has a shiny metallic finish, but there is also a matte blue one available. It features a very futuristic design with a triangular lens camera bump in the upper left corner on the back of the phone. The smartphone weighs 193 gram. It features a USB-C connector and is IP68 rated. That means that it is water and dust resistant. The phone also uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint sensor to unlock the phone. Both technologies work great. As a special feature for sound enthusiasts, the X3 Pro's alarms and ringtones are custom designed by famous producer Hans Zimmer. We always like a new design approach. Let's have a look at the Galaxy now. The Galaxy S20 Ultra comes across very sophisticated thanks to its matte finish. The quad camera system is as usual on the upper left corner on the back of the phone, but the bump seems like it is more connected to the front of the phone. It looks like as if the frame is wrapped around the upper left corner of the back. The bump itself really sticks out of the phone again which makes that corner really thick. The smartphone weighs 227 gram. It is roughly 16.5 cm long, 7.56 cm wide and 0.89 cm deep. It has a USB-C connector and thanks to an IP68 rating, it is also water and dust resistant. The S20 uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint scanner which is built into the screen to unlock the phone. Samsung improved the fingerprint scanner by making it 1.77 times bigger and 2 times faster. So these two phones are obviously very different. The S21 Ultra has a clean and robust look of the Galaxy series. The Find X3 Pro with its futuristic and innovative design is more of a dreamer. Its so-called gradient arc camera which connects the bump with the rest of the backside or actually connect is not the right word here and exactly that is a clue. The transition is so smooth it's almost unnoticeable. A breath of fresh air speaking from the design perspective. The Samsung's bump on the other hand is far from being considered elegant. It is so big that it wobbles a lot when you try to place it on a flat ground. This makes the phone look very clunky. Besides that, the Galaxy is of course a very high-end smartphone. Like its counterpart, it feels and looks very valuable. We also like the matte metal look almost a bit more than Apple's mirror design. All things considered, it is a very close race. But in the end, we decided that the Oppo has the upper hand here and deserves to get this point. Like ours, we would like to hear your opinion on this tough subject. Which design do you like the most? We are looking forward to reading your comments. Battery The Oppo Find X3 Pro when fully charged has 4500 mAh. On the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra when fully charged has 5000 mAh. Both phones support fast and reverse wireless charging. The Galaxy has the bigger battery and should last longer. Let's bring them to our day-to-day -day usage test and see if that's true. 
Here we have a prime example for the line size matters. Obviously that's not always the case, but since the Galaxy has a much larger battery and was able to last longer than its competitor, this time it fits. And although the Oppo has the much faster charging capabilities, endurance is still the key in this category. Which is why the Samsung deserves this point. If you want to see the full video test, click here. Conclusion. Okay, so let's recap and sum up all the points to find out which phone has the upper hand in this comparison. At first we took a look at the display features, where both took one point home. Thanks to the new Snapdragon chip, the Oppo was able to shine performance-wise and scored the win in this category too. When comparing the two camera systems, the Galaxy was able to do better in terms of photography, while the Oppo had better results in the video section. Which is why in the end both got a point. The fourth category was this time decided by innovative ideas, which gave the Oppo the upper hand in another point. And last but not least, the battery life. Here the Galaxy was showing a lot more endurance than the Oppo and scored the point. This leads to a final score of 4 to 3 in favor of the Oppo Finding 3 Pro, which is the rightful winner of this comparison video. Naturally, we review more than these five categories covered here. If you want to see the full comparison, follow the link to our website. You can compare up to seven different smartphones at versus.com. But before you do that, please post your comments and let us know which phone you think ranks first. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and see you soon.